Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have another tutorial in our Divi Blog module series. And this one, I've never seen anything like it, but I'm gonna show you how to customize any particular blog post category in the feed. So let's say there's an, a blog post that's in um, a certain category, and maybe it's just called uh, Featured. Whatever you wanna, whatever your category is, I can show you how to style that item differently than all of your other items. And you could do this with any number of categories. So it's pretty cool. I'm excited to show you. Let's get started. I guess I could say this about most of my tutorials, but I've never seen anything like this done. And it's such a simple concept. So we're just gonna take the blog module, um, set the grid mode where it's a feed of you know the blog post, and we're just gonna highlight certain ones like by category. So we might have a category that we just call featured, or maybe we're actually talking about the actual, you know, category names, nature, design, whatever they are. And we're going to change different elements like the, the title color or the background or the border or the button, whatever. Those types of things, you know, based on what the category is for that post. So it's kind of a simple concept. Um, this is kind of on top of all of you know the 20 or 30 blog tutorials that we've just got done doing. We do a tutorial every week, um, but you can check out the blog series, um, our blog category really, uh, for all of the ones about the blog module. So anyway, here's how this thing is going to work. So it's, it's pretty simple. The CSS classes are already there in Divi for you to target and then you can you can target them and combine them with the post selector and it's cool because then you can select just individual categories it's kind of a clever trick but once you see it you're like yeah that's pretty you know makes sense okay so anyway put the css in all the normal places child theme or theme options all that stuff um, and then we're going to get started here i have a I guess at the beginning of this tutorial, I have a bunch of like notes. It's like, I feel like I got to have like a bunch of notes because like, well, how do you find the slug? How do you find the, um, how do you duplicate this for what if I have more than one category that I want to highlight that kind of thing. So I'm showing you how to do that. Um, and you know, what if I want to change the category? Obviously you change the name, um, the category nature is the one in this example anyway here you can see a screenshot how it's going to look here is my live site where i'm going to be working you can see that i have already highlighted this particular one and it's in the nature category if you see nature right here see people cats whatever different categories this one is highlighted we've targeted that one and that one and they're automatically that color so you know, however you want to call that out at the top, you know, um, maybe you want to make something, maybe, maybe you want to make a, um, a key or something, whatever you want to do, that's up to you. Or even if you just want to make it kind of subtle, like maybe a blue outline, maybe it would look like these, but with a blue outline, anything like that, that's totally up to you. Let's get started. I have a bunch of sample selectors here. And you'll see that it just says, you know, your CSS here. Basically, these are using a sample category, category nature. So it's like, here's what we're doing. If I wanted to change this title, ETPB blog grid, targeting the blog grid. If you wanted to make your own class there, you could do that. And then category dash nature dot ETPB post. That's all one thing right there. It's all connected. Category dash nature dot et underscore pb underscore post. That right there is the key to this whole thing. So in my category, I'll show you where I got that. I got that from, well, there's, I got it from inspecting the post. Okay. I got it from inspecting the post, but I'll show you where you could get it if you didn't want to do that. Um, if you know how to do that, you probably could already go find that. Um, so right here, this slug, when you're in your categories, post categories, this slug, I mean, it's really simple. It's just nature, but like example post category, you can see it has a couple dashes and stuff. You would take that, you know, whatever the slug is, that is what you put into right there. 
Okay. You do that to any of them. So we're using nature. Obviously, I had to put a placeholder in there. You can change that to whatever yours is. And if you have multiple ones, that's fine too. Copy it multiple times, change the selector. All right, so let's get started. Let's take a look at what we did here. It's kind of up to you. Um, it's just the main thing is I'm giving you this base platform and then I want you to do it on your own. I'm not going to give you everything. Um, I've been trying to at least slowly transition my blog a little bit more to teaching rather than just like here, take it and leave it. And that's great. And I love doing that. But at some point you have to learn a little bit. And so I'm giving you the snippets as a base and you can put in your own thing like background color. You know, if, if you need to be able to be writing that. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to I'm going to get rid of what I have here, I guess. Um, let's see. I kind of hate to get rid of it, but OK, here's what I'll do. I'll just copy that. Get rid of it. And I'm using a, um, a tool here. It's a Chrome extension called user CSS. It just helps me see this live. But anyway, they're all the same again. Nothing's highlighted. So um, I am going to start from scratch and walk you through this. Let's say I wanted to highlight anything related to individual posts. So I'm going to copy this one where it says entire post. Just click copy or you can select it all and go in here. Now, when I paste this, you'll see that there's in red, it says your CSS here. So for me, I want to change the border the border collar. I'm going to do that border collar. And again, this is something that you are going to have to do. Um, I can't give you the styles because I don't know what your styles want to be. But look at that very subtle change. Kind of nice, isn't it? Very subtle. It's just the border color changed. That's all we did. And again, we did that by we knew that the slug of all the posts in nature have that so right here category nature now watch what happens when I change this I'm gonna change it to cats because I happen to know that that was the slug for cats the cat category <laughs> so there you go any of them that are related to that okay so that's pretty simple there's the concept right there and so now you can just take it and run with it now obviously if you change the background color <laughs> If I say right here, background color, and I, I do something dark like black, right? Well, then obviously we have a problem, I guess. We need to change some other things. So let's, let's actually do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go back here to the, to the blog post with this stuff. I'm going to copy the title. Okay, grab the title paste that in here and this is a good example I need to change my my slug here cats right and I'm gonna say for the title I'm gonna say I want the collar to be white which I'm gonna use FFF like that and sometimes we have to use important like that so there you go I kinda had to change that because I changed the background I had to create that contrast uh, the post meta might be okay I'm going to let that one go. Another one that I would need probably is the excerpt. It's just a little, I mean, yeah, it's more than a little. It's hard to read. So if I do this one, cats again, and then I'm going to say, oh, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could just make it white again. Yeah, it's a little dark. Whatever, light gray, something like that. So there you go. And I could say, well, I'm done now. And again, I could do this to multiple categories. Like you saw what I just did. I copied that in. I could, I could keep it on nature and I could say, um, I want that to be red. The nature category, I want the excerpt to be red in the nature category. Don't ask me why there I could do that. Um, you could make every single category a different background color, a different title color, different border, different spacing, different button color. I could change the button color. And, and I, I hope you get the idea. You know, I, I can't really go much further with it because I don't know what designs you want to do. I'm just trying to present the platform and cover my bases, right? If you wanted to only target this in one module, 
then in the CSS, see where it says ETPB blog grid, you would replace that with your own. So I might say, you know, um, Nelson's blog, right? Uh, you know, I might do that. And then I would go in here to the module settings. All right, so I go right here, module settings, open that up, advanced tab right in here, CSS ID and classes, get rid of whatever we had there from a previous tutorial. Then I could say, you know, Nelson's blog right there. Boom, Th that gets highlighted because now I've I've targeted just this blog module. Now I could add a whole other blog module without that class and it won't affect it. So that's one way you could just affect that. What else do we need to cover? Um, I think I covered it. You know, obviously using different ones, you're gonna have to say, you know, category nature, category design, category cats, whatever. Finding the slug is really easy and you can, I mean, okay, you could do that in the the inspector here. So if you if you come in here like this, right click, you get up this inspector thing, right? It's in the browser tools. So like if I if I highlight this, see how when I hover I highlight this. I'm not trying to teach you this in this tutorial, but right here you can see article. Great. We're selecting one article here. It gives the ID of that. And then it gives a whole bunch of classes. So if I click in here, I can highlight them, right? So I highlighted them. Now watch what happens when we sort of, we're just gonna paste it here and examine what, what, what I've highlighted. So right here, ET, PB post, clear fix, ET blog item, the post ID, post type, the status is published. There's all these wonderful classes that we can target. Um, but the one that we really wanted was right there at the end, category cats. So you could inspect it and find that, right, that way. That's how you could find it if you wanted to do it um, the manual way like that. All right, so that is it. Go have fun with it. Change the border, change the image border, change the spacing, colors mostly, I guess. Do whatever you want to highlight maybe featured blog posts or... Um, just make a color coded key thing going on there. All right, so there you go, kind of a unique one there, but um, hope you guys like that and maybe you can use it to, you know, feature some blog posts um, by author, whatever you want to do, by category there. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it, like I said, and if you do, you know that this is the type of stuff you'll be getting here on this channel. Um, so follow along and uh, we appreciate it and um, that's why I do it because you guys are enjoying and finding the content helpful. All right. Well, we'll see you guys in the next video.